Hi there, my name is Victor and I am a master technician. Please be aware that I do not represent any company. I'm not endorsed by or affiliated with any automotive manufacturer or car dealership. All opinions expressed in this video are my own and all trademarks, logos and brand names are the property of their respective owners. Today, I'm going to show you how to check and adjust all the underhood fluid levels on 2022 Lexus NX350 models. This is a typical Lexus NX350 engine bay. The washer fluid reservoir is right here. This is the engine coolant tank. This is the coolant for the intercooler system. Oil filler cap is right there. This is the oil dipstick. And on this side, you have the brake fluid reservoir. This vehicle does not have a transmission fluid dipstick or power steering fluid. Top up the washer fluid, open the reservoir, fill it up full. So here you can see the coolant reservoir. There is the full mark and there is the low mark. Check the engine coolant level uh, with a vehicle cold. So let it sit for a few hours and then uh, open the cap. This one does not have pressure inside of it. So you don't need to worry about anything. Install a funnel and then top it up to the full mark using genuine Toyota Super Long Life Coolant. It's already pre-mixed, so it does not need any water added to it. Once you set it to the full mark, Remove the funnel and close the reservoir cap. Here is the intercooler coolant tank. You can see the low mark and the full mark. This vehicle right now is warm, so uh, it's a little bit over full, which is normal. Make sure to check and adjust the intercooler coolant level with the engine completely cold. Do not open the cap when it's hot. Once it cools off, Open the reservoir cap, install a funnel, and top up using the same Super Long Life pre-mixed coolant. Once you set the level to full, remove the funnel and reinstall the cap. Tighten it until it clicks. To check the oil level, remove the dipstick, wipe it off, reinstall it, remove it, and check the oil level. The level should be to this second dimple right here. If it's low, top it up by removing the oil filler cap and adding a little bit of oil at a time using 0W20 oil while intermittently checking with a dipstick until it is at the full mark. Brake fluid level generally does not need to be topped up and it is a good indicator of uh, how worn out your brake pads are. As the brake pads wear, the brake fluid level will go down. So there is a max mark and a minimum mark on the reservoir. So ours is right up to the max. If you need to top it up, wipe the cap off so that no dirt or foreign material falls in there. Remove the cap and refill as needed with the dot three or dot four brake fluid. Close the cap and that is it. That's how you uh, check and adjust all the underhood fluid levels on this vehicle. Thanks for watching. Please check for product links below the video for any tools or supplies needed to complete the procedure shown in this tutorial. If you would like me to make a specific video, please leave a suggestion in comments and don't forget to subscribe. See you next time. Cheers.